So hey Jurassic World Life fans out there, um, it's been a while since I've made a video and to be honest, if I'm going to give you my reasonings, it's basically because life is just really busy. <laughs> I've been working super hard, um, I went on a holiday to Ibiza, um, you could probably see but my, if you follow both my Instagrams, my personal Instagram, there's a lot of pictures from my trip um, and to be honest, it took me about three or four weeks to get over my holiday. Um, it was it was a great holiday, but I came back and I went straight back to work and I basically exhausted myself beyond the point where I could just about work and get home. Um, not only that, I went to record and my HDMI cable was broken. Um, it's like a transponder between the HDMI cable and the iPhone, that was gone. And then when I went to record when that got delivered, um, my laptop charger had been left somewhere else. So my laptop was then not charged. So literally today is the first time um, I've had a chance to record anything about the update of 1.9. Um, big thanks to Ludia. They do share their uh, pre-release notes with me, um, which I absolutely appreciate beyond belief. But obviously I can't say anything until 1.9 is released so I did have um, a little bit of background information and I knew what was coming uh, but when it came it was really really good. Um, I've asked a couple of people on my um, Facebook on the Jurassic World Alive groups if they had anything to say and maximum positive comments. There was very um, little negative but Mainly the negative ones were if um, a creature gets nerfed then it would be fair enough to give the option to have any boosts back that you put into that creature so you can distribute it to others. So that was the mainly the negative. So just to recap very quickly over 1.9, there has been some new creatures but the main things are um, the campaign which I think is a brilliant idea. A lot of people are really enjoying this. You basically work your way through battles until you get to the top and I think you receive a premium incubator as a reward. But each stage you need to hit, hit a certain criteria. So if we look here, you need a creature level or greater to level eight. Um, but as you go up the campaign, obviously this becomes harder to hit. And I know based on my team, I'm not gonna be able to finish that campaign. So a lot of people have had a lot of positive things to say about that. Um, PvP battling, mm, again, it just depends on where you are at the time and how many boosts you've given to your creatures, I suppose. But matchmaking seems to be a little bit better now. There's been some changes made to the Alliance um, with regards to the Alliance chat and the sanctuaries. Now you can go into a sanctuary and when you come back out, you go back to the sanctuary page, which is really useful before it would take you back to the map and you have to go back in, which is very annoying. Um, you can see my alliance is pretty organized. You got a nice Kendra alliance there, alliance up sanctuary, and a nice Sinoceratops sanctuary, and a Baryonyx, is that Gen 2? I always get confused about the yeah, Barry Gen 2 sanctuary as well. Um, new creatures, I, I've waited until I recorded for you guys to create these, um, but I've got these two new creatures which are very exciting. Um, when I seen the pre-release notes and I used the test flight version of the game, the background was the same background as the update and when I seen it I just couldn't believe my eyes. Obviously at that point I didn't know what uh, would make this creature because I started a campaign, not campaign, I started the uh, test flight version as a level one, so I couldn't really see, like nothing was open in the game like it is for me now, but in drum, ten, in drum, oh my god, I'm still dying my Vita, in drum, gen two, it's an epic instead of a legendary, and if you wanna look at this creature's abilities, Definitive Strike, so good for removing cloaks. Mutual Fury, this is a new move introduced in 1.9. You cleanse yourself, you increase your damage by 50% of 
for one opponent turn and two turns for self. So basically, the risk is you're increasing your own attack. It's kind of like a Pokemon move, if you remember that. You increase your own attack, but you also increase uh, the opponent's attack. Um, and you also, but you can increase your speed a little bit as well. You still got the armor piece and rampage and the clock and the immunity of passive. The other creature I was really excited about with this guy, uh, Phosphosaurus. So it's a combination of the Terra Birds and Myasaura. When I seen this, the thing that made me um, really excited about it was the fact it has instant rampage and there is no delay. The actual creature itself looks really good. It's just a chunkier version of the Terra Birds and I do like the Terra Birds design. It's just a bigger version and just a meatier version of that. Um, so look here, we've got Superiority Strike, Instant Rampage, Rampage and Run and Sidestep. Pardon me, sorry my eye. And it's a swap in stun ability and immune to swap prevention. What's this mean? This creature cannot be swap prevented. Okay, so you can't pin it down basically. With a speed of 130 and the fact it also has Instant Rampage makes this creature potentially very, very uh, useful. The only downside would be that it's um, only a legendary. We're saying that there are still legendaries in the in the top arenas killing it. Um, the downside to this would be, you know, we've got instant rampage, but its attack is very low because it's basically um, like a glass cannon. So. They are the two new creatures that I waited to create with you. Um, I've got a couple of changes that I've made to my team. The main nerf that everybody is very upset about is Monostegatops. So if I click on her, um, my other Monostegatops, um, I'll try and find a picture if I can. I don't know if I've got any screenshots lying about, but I remember specifically um, the health was over 6,000 and the attack was more like around 1800 to 2000 so a lot of people are quite upset but at the same time people have taken this on the chin and try to utilize monastery tops in a way of battling with this new move set so a lot of people have said the swap in stun is really um effective because if you swap in the stun that means you can go first you've also then got slow and impact and you've got the new move called Dig In, which is you cleanse yourself, increase speed by 10% for two turns, and shield 50% and heal 20% of max HP. So if you were going to boost Monster Egg Top's health, then having um, a regen move, you get more back for your, for your money, really. So, oh, also as well, I wanted to chat about this. The Liquor Spikes event on Friday, Friday the 13th, I managed to get quite a lot and I managed to get my Elixir Spikes to level 23. Apart from that, I have actually zero Baryonyx Gen 2 DNA to even work towards it anymore. Um, the changes I've made to my team were I put Morris Degatops out and I put Yoshi back in. Um, Yoshi had a major buff, so its health and attack are now a lot uh, higher. And Indom. That's the main thing as well when the ones in Indoraptor, sorry not Indom, has been buffed again. It's now immune to distraction and immune to stuns, which makes the fact that his cloak is broken not as bad. So it can be slowed down, but literally that would be it. So that is a massive positive considering I personally spent a lot of time and effort on my Indoraptor and a lot of boosts, which obviously you cannot um, take back. So there are a couple of things I want to do today. I wanted to open up these incubators with you. I've kept the Epic Incubator for over a week now, ready to open on camera for you guys. And then what we can do is we can do the Epic Battle, which is um, uh, an event which is outside my house, luckily. Oh, Anki DNA, I like it. Oh, and more, I love that. So the last one, let's have a look. I need that coinage. If you notice, I've got hardly any coin. That's because I leveled up my liquor spikes. Um, not great so far. That's decent, and I'll show you why in a minute. Not too bad. Mm, I've got plenty of that already. Mm, not too bad either. So, 
if you can see here, I've got a goggles with just a level 25 and I've actually boosted it. Now, I did this kind of like in preparation for 1.9 just to have something to back up really if I needed something to put in my team. Considering Gorgo has Ferocious Strike combos with Defense Shot and Rampage. You know, if you boost the speed enough, then oh, I do apologize, the ice cream van. <laughs> the ice cream van is around the streets. Well, it's not even sunny. Someone explained to me why he's here. <laughs> so I do apologize there guys for some reason. Um, it cut out when I was speaking about my Gorgosaurus or Gorgosuchus, whatever it's called. Um, I don't know why, but this was the issues I was having last thing right away. I had to buy myself a new cable and now it seems to be happening again. But um, I wanted to move on to the Epic Strike event today. Um, I've already completed the first part. It was just basically heavy armor, so it was both um, Euphocephalus and Ankylosaurus. So I'm just going to jump straight in and basically use mainly my Thor to get through this. If it's a little bit repetitive, um, I might just skip through very quickly. Um, but while we're here, you know, I don't mind having a chat. Depends how boring I think I am, I am being. And then maybe <laughs> if you don't want to hear it, I might be like, all right, I'll skip through that part. But there has been a lot of positives to this update. There's new creatures in, in the in the collection to be had and that would be oh there we go thanks Trico. um there's some new Cenozoic creatures a lot of people are very excited for the new Cenozoic turtle it's a tortoise too no it's a tortoise because turtles are aquatic and obviously tortoises are land yeah so it's a, basically it's a giant land tortoise and it has a new hybrid also which is very exciting. Um, it's I can't see it on my screen at the moment because I haven't actually found one. Um, it's a park spawn apparently, so your best bets are going into a park and chucking an epic scent off. That might be your best bet in finding one, but for me, I live I live near a couple of parks and I've not seen one yet. Sorry, I was just googling the actual. No, people are saying turtle and people are saying tortoise. I think it's a tortoise. It's called Carbonemus and it basically looks like one of those Galapagos turtles. It's super cute and adorable. So we're on battle number three now. Next week's creatures have not yet been released. But for this weekend, I have actually gone for multiple um, different epics. Oh, here we go. Here's the new swapping mechanic for the Stegoceratops. So I'm stunned, but yeah, what happens is it it works well if, say if you if you have a Monstegotops or Stegoceratops or any Ceratopsian, when you swap in, it works best if you're faster than them. So, by the looks of things, your creatures have to be heavily speed boosted. Now, there are people out there with like 160 Earl and 130 or 150 even speed thaws. So, you've got to pick wisely, I think. So, we're on to a nice. I should, can really do with some Anki DNA. Number four. We got another one on Elasmotherium, is it? Yeah, we got another uh, one to battle with. I tell you who, for me, is still absolutely killing it, and that is my Triostronix. She's had another buff, so she's seemed to have won all of these updates so far. And I just think I was particularly lucky that I just really liked her design. I, from the beginning, I really, really liked the way she looked. Yeah, she looks like a zombie, but I don't know why. It, just, it looked really cool to me, and the fact that she looked so ugly made her adorable to me. Um, and I think I was just very lucky that I just liked it, so I kept her in my team, and I've benefited that way. Because, oh, here comes the Lasmotherium. 
there's a nice um, animation of her running in. Yeah, I was just lucky that I liked her and I kept her in my team for basically that reason. And each time she's actually won in the update she's been buffed and buffed and buffed and what makes her great is the fact that she's a moon and accounted with she's got defense shattering and she's got a ferocious she's got two types of ferocious strike which is really good so what i might do is um bleed with triostronics and i'll just show you what she can do when she crits bear in mind that She's not normally good against armor piece and creatures, only if she's been set up. So if she's had... Well, there we are. Here's an example of how she's very useful. So we didn't get the crit that time. But now her... Attack has been boosted. So the next big hit, basically, is what saves me normally. There a lot of people are swapping back to Stego God into their teams for the pure fact of Mono Steg Top. Some people feel like it has been nerfed beyond use. And a lot of people are switching back to Stego God and I do find her really good against Stego God. She could easily set up. Sometimes you can set up twice. So like in this situation now, I would normally go for this one and then go back for the defense shattering. Her speed has really helped me because it's 150. If she didn't go first, I don't think that she would be as use useful. Um, but she's done me really well. Downside is she takes post metroid on DNA, and I struggle with Dimetrodon, so sometimes it's a massive, you know, it's a massive decision for me to make whether I put the Dimetrodon Dean into Magna or her. There we go. So if you're still hanging about my channel, I really appreciate it. Um, I just It's just life in general. Like I said many times, this isn't my job. I just do it on the side and I'm an adult and I got adult responsibilities, unfortunately. So we have some Sinoceratops and Anki. Oh my God. Did that really just happen? Why? Right, see if we can just get a couple of more fuses on my trike. I have to be really, really lucky here. 40. So close yet so far. I could have had at least one more fuse on my trike. Go. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and still being here. Um, my videos will slowly be coming back to life. Um, it's just, like I said, it's just been mental. <laughs> and I'm basically too old and I can't party anymore. But until next time, I see you soon. Bye.